All right, hello everyone. Uh, it's David from the Table of Insanity here with a little bit of a, a vlog going on. See my little <laughs> my background on my wall real quick. Oh, let me center that. Shirt's a little bit open. It's hot outside. It, it's summer. What do you expect? Um, yeah, this is just me uh, saying hi. It's been a while since I recorded a bit of a vlog since I think it was last se last summer actually around the time of Sack Anime Summer. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I grew up a bit of facial hair since then. Uh, keeping it for now. Probably gonna shave it right before sack summer, which is gonna be in a few months. Um, but yeah, this is uh, me doing a little vlog, sort of an update, as well as a cosplay progress uh, vlog, if you will. Um, first things first, that is what is going on with the channel. Well, right now... There's nothing really new for us to uh, do right now. We are uh, most likely going to be doing The Walking Dead, um, the remainder of Season 3. Uh, that is definitely going to be a thing. However, that's going to have to wait a little while because another thing is Fanime. I'm actually going to be at um, Fanime 2017 this year. I'm only going to be there for Saturday, so just one day. Uh, I will most likely be able to get some pictures, though, and record some video there, so... You know, it'll be something, and uh, I will be going as, um, <laughs> uh, this is the weird thing, I'm going to be doing uh, Dapper Vader, which is basically a fancy dressed version of Darth Vader. So I have like the robotic hands going on instead of gloves, I'm wearing a suit instead of the cape, and a little shirt instead of the little robe he has going on underneath. I am going to be wearing the uh, little, um, <laughs> the little breathing apparatus he has, in fact, I think if I can... Turn this over there. You can see it right over there. Right over there. Past Laukaiser's sword. My shoulder pad. It's like right over there. My office is a mess right now. I just finished uh, a bunch of building stuff. Um, you can actually see what I was building on my shoulder real there for a second. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be there as uh, sort of a fancy dressed version of Darth Vader. Um, as I said, I will most likely be taking some pictures Probably getting some video here and there. I need to keep my hands still. Um, so yeah, that'll uh, most likely, you know, that's going to be a thing this sa this coming Saturday, um, the twenty seventh of May. Uh, don't like, like that's where I'm gonna be. Um, Logan and Lance, like they're gonna be on vacation. I have no idea what Jared and Caleb are gonna be doing. Most likely playing Injustice Two since that just came out. Uh, don't know if we're going to record anything for that because uh, I don't know if any of us have it on PC. If we do get on PC, you can most likely expect at least a touch of it. Um, also real quick in, oh, phone sort of vibrated. Uh, real quick in some Warframe news, uh, currently as it stands, uh, Jared currently has Octavia. And Caleb and I are trying to get Octavia as well. And once we get Octavia, you can most likely expect some Warframe nonsense, uh, videos. Warframe nonsense videos to return uh, as we mess with the um, little sound mixer thing. I, <laughs> uh, the Mandicore, that's what it's called. I forgot what it was called for a second. But yeah, you can expect some uh, Mandicore nonsense going on. One thing I want to try and get to do is the reverse Flash theme from the Flash TV show on the Mandicore. Because I uh, don't know if this ever appeared, but I do have reverse Flash. Um, sort of a skin for Volt. Uh, it's not really, like, straight up reverse flash. It's more like just Volt in, um, designed to look like the reverse flash. But yeah, I kind of want to do a, a little one-shot of that, at least, if we can make it happen on the Mandacord. Um, and then, yeah, of course, uh, we're all going to be going to Sack Anime Summer in September. However, it's currently May, so we still have a bit of time to wait. It's, like, what, four, three months? Actually, it's the end of May, so around three months, yeah. Um, real quick, might as well announce what I'm going to be doing there. Uh, I will be bringing back Metaton EX, and I will actually be debuting, um, Jean Arc from Ruby. It's going to be the Volume 1 through 3 version. Um, and then maybe if I'm going to be there all three days, I'll bring in a full-on version of Darth Vader, because that is currently as well in the works, uh, right now. But, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of an update, so, you know, we have, you know, the convention coming up, Walking Dead, a little bit of Warframe nonsense, maybe some Injustice 2. Uh, we'll have to see on that last one. 
But uh, yeah, and then on to some real uh, quick snippets of cosplay stuff. All right, so real quick here, the first of the cosplay stuff I've been working on. This is Ozpin's cane from uh, the show uh, Rooster Teeth made called Ruby. Um, it's not quite finished yet. You can see like this little back area, the little black areas are empty. I am going to put the gears in. And I am most likely going to etch in the vine details on the grip. Yeah, you can see here is most of the cane. You can see I have the little gold stripes going on there. I have the sort of grayish silver grip. You have the silver and white on the little pommel dash hand hold. Uh, sort of a silvery gray going on on the main guard. As well as some straight up silver on that little um, sort of finger guard dash. I think it's supposed to be a lever. I don't know, like... It, it might be a lever given how this part is supposed to extend out in the actual show, but I don't know. And yeah, no, this thing does not extend out. It's all connected. Um, yeah, you can see here I have the main body of the cane. It is done up in black paint. Uh, and a real quick rundown. I'm just going to get this in my hand properly. You can see it looks really well in the hand. Uh, real quick rundown of what I did. The little uh, orb right here down the bottom is a uh, styrofoam ball that I cut in half. I squished the bottom so it was a little bit thinner than the main silver piece. I then painted that in a white glossy paint. Uh, of course I painted the other part silver and I wrapped some silver craft foam around it. Give it more detail. Um... Real quick, there are, um, as you can see, the main body, the stick, it's actually made of wood. It's a, a large wooden dowel, I think a yard long. Uh, could be a little bit longer, I don't really uh, remember. But what I did was I took that, and then you can see right here, the first stripe is actually a layer of crack foam uh, over it, um, which I then painted that end piece gold. And then uh, there's a second layer. You can see the second layer is the silvery gray part right here. Um, that sort of just makes the grip a lot, you know, a bit more comfortable in hand. It's not just hard wood pressing up against your fingers. It's, you know, a little bit squishy, a little bit nice to hold. You know, you can see I have some good swinging power into that. Um, but yeah, and of course I painted this uh, sort of a gray silver. Uh, right here you see there's another... Uh, just a small little strap of craft foam that I painted gold. Um, then right here I made a, sort of a sort of a small cylinder out of craft foam. Uh, you can see right here it's sort of a two-layered end. You can see it was black with the uh, grayish part uh, glued on. You can see some little details I have in there on the gray and black to sort of give it sort of a screw or bolted look. I am going to put the gears in there. Um, basically I'm going to take some craft foam, cut it out into the right shape, paint them gold, and then attach them on. Uh, you can see here I have the, sort of the guard dash lever, which I took a, uh, a smaller wooden dowel. It was, uh, very thin, as you can see. I cut it three ways, glued it all together, and then painted it silver. And then what I did was I, uh, slid it into place here after cutting a hole, and glued it onto the inside of the... Uh, craft foam and you can see I can actually sort of pull the lever a little bit That way there's a little bit of flex to it and then you can see the rest of the wooden dowel was just painted black uh, Don't know if I'm gonna do a little end tip to keep it from sliding around on sort of slick floors Most likely will out of uh, craft foam just paint that black so that way it Looks you know all nice and all together, but yeah here is uh, Ozpin's cane this I actually made for uh, Logan because he's going to be cosplaying Ozpin at Sack Anime Summer, most likely. He is going to be working on that. He only needs a couple more things now, aside from this, and that is the vest and uh, the... Well, actually, no, he needs the vest, the scarf, and the shirt. But, yep, yeah, now this is Ozpin's cane that he has. Alright, and here is the next piece of so the cosplay overview-update. Uh, these are the shoulder pads. And the wrist guards for Jean Arc from Ruby. Uh, 
You can see I have the left and the right shoulder pads. You can see this one got a little scuffed up at one point. Um, that was actually from me like uh, cost testing this and actually falling on some very sharp rocks. You can see got a little puncture right there. Uh, what I'll probably actually do is I will just uh, leave it as is, probably make a second one. But I'm going to keep this one around and use it as sort of like a battle damage shoulder pad since this is actually for my right arm which is in canon the sword arm so you know makes sense the sword arm uh sustains a little bit of damage here we have the little uh right wrist guard uh the left one and then we have the left shoulder pad you can see this is a lot more pristine uh what i actually oh dropped a drop something real quick uh what i actually use to make these is that the main body of these is foam board uh so it's a nice durable material uh, that goes for all of these pieces. I then did a the outline pieces on all of them. You can see right here. This is actually some craft foam, just like I used on Osmond's cane, that I painted silver. Uh, that goes for everything as well. And then you can see the silver bits on the inside right here, right here, same thing on these. That was all uh, silver paint that I taped off and then just painted the little lines. And then most of these are have a layer of white glossy paint just to give it more of a glossy feel like he had in the show. But yeah, that is the shoulder uh, pieces and the wrist guards for Jean. And on to the next piece. Alright, so this is the next piece of the Jean Arc cosplay that I have so far. Uh, this is the main torso armor that I have uh, same deal as with the shoulder pads and the wrist guards it is all made of is mostly made out of foam board uh, so that way it's a nice durable material won't get too scuffed up uh, you can see the little silver line running down the center that was taped off uh, the of course the border on all the parts as you can see there's some on the side you see there's some on the back right there some on the side right there Obviously on the front right there, that was all craft foam I put together, painted, and then attached to the armor. Uh, as you can see, there are some brown, uh, there's some brown elastic strap. I could not find any brown leather, uh, so, you know, that'll have to do for right now. Uh, you can see I have some white elastic inside holding the entire thing together. Uh, this way, it's a lot easier to take on and off. You know, that way there's like some stretch room. It can fit around my shoulders when it goes on or off. And that way it's a lot more maneuverable. I get a lot more articulation, you know, around sort of my diaphragm joint area. Uh, you can see a couple little socks there. You can see a little Joanne's bag and a little sneak peek of what's coming next. But yeah, that is the main body armor for Jean to go along with the shoulder pads and wrist guards. And now on to the next and last part that I have so far. All right, and here we have the last piece. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit longer, but as we can see, this is the sword and shield combo Corsia Moore's uh, Jean's weapon from the show Ruby. Now, as you can see, I have the main body of the shield. It's not really rounded as much as it is in the show. Um, and also, real quick for a little scale, that's my hand, that's the armor, uh, here is a pair of sunglasses, if they will stay up, this is like, you know, that's a pair of sunglasses, that's the shield, this thing is pretty big, uh, I have, of course, you know, six foot three, so yeah, I made this according to my size, so of course I made it a bit big. Uh, you can see I have the gold trim on the top. You can see the little gold on the shield, the main Ark Family Crest. Uh, that is all made of craft foam. That, of course, was painted and glued on. Uh, same thing with top piece right here, which wraps around the entire sort of scabbard midsection. Um, now, real quick, this, of course, is craft foam and foam board, just like with the other bits of the armor. However... You know, this being a shield and all and having to fit the sword, you can see this is relatively thick. You can also see some craft foam bordering right here. That is because this entire shield 
when not counting the scabbard, is a total of five layers of foam board thick. There's the main first layer that has the little holes in for the hooks for the scabbard, which I'll show off in a sec. But yeah, that's the main uh, sort of, you know, bracer section. But then each side of the shield is four layers thick. So this thing can take quite a bit of beating. This thing is very, very durable. Now, of course, you can see the sword right there. As I mentioned, this is a scabbard piece. So real quick, what you can do is pull up, pull out, and you can see the scabbard detaches. You can see the little hooks right there and on there. They're also made out of craft, or not craft foam, out of foam board. Had to niche up my eye my second. Uh, for a second, <laughs> I can barely speak right now. You can see there are little uh, holes for the hooks. You can see the, the first layer of foam board right there. And if I get a good look, you can see there is the four layers of foam board. Uh, but yeah, here is the main sheath. You can see there's a little bit of black uh, craft foam glued onto the sheath. That is a belt loop. So this thing can be held on my belt. You know, in case I want to set the shield off to my side and I'm doing a photo shoot. You can see this is also made out of foam board that I then painted white in a nice glossy paint. Uh, now this is not like multiple layer sticks. I just made a rectangle out of a hollow rectangle out of foam board. I then made the little tip piece and it is able to hold my sword. And you once again see craft foam that wraps all the way around in gold. See the little gold parts of the family crest. And real quick, just to show this off, I'm going to switch hands. Uh, you can grab the hilt and you can see the sword does remove real quick. I'm going to grab this. Ah. But yeah, real quick, I'm going to move into a bit of a better light. Here we have the main part of Corsia Morse. And that is the sword. Now, as you can see, the blade is a bit thick. Uh, once again, I made it sort of relative to my size. However, this is a bit, honestly, a bit too thick. I uh, will probably update this later on. Probably just get an actual foam sword and paint it. But this is the one I built, and I am proud of it. Uh, the main blade is, of course, foam board which I wrapped around a wooden dowel and glued together at the sides after cutting angles into the edges. Uh, you can see the little tip that is also made out of foam board. I used four pieces of foam board cut into triangles, had them all glued together at the tip. You can see it looks pretty nice. So the width of the blade. And then uh, this guard section right here, the top and the bottom are foam board. And then all four sides are craft foam and it was all painted gold. Uh, don't know if you can see real quick, but you can see there is a little slot cut into the guard for it to fit around the blade. Uh, of course, we have a craft foam grip and a craft foam pommel. Of course, I painted the pommel gold. The uh, grip was actually already blue craft foam. So I just wrapped it around and glued it. You can see the little line, the little seam. And, of course, the main body was built out of a wooden dowel, just like Osmond's cane over there. Which I then, of course, put a layer of craft foam around this. Slid over the pummel, put that on. Slid over the guard, which, of course, you can see there's a little cutout right there for it to fit around. And then I glued the blade to the main dowel. Of course, painted the silver, the gold, sorry, the gold, the blue, and then the gold again. And, of course, it just slots right back into the sheath i'm gonna set it down right there but yeah you see it is three pieces and also real quick before i forget i'm going to move this out of the way real quick of course if i flip it around a shield needs some straps you see i glued on some very nice uh, i don't know exactly what the material is it is a very similar material used for when you know making the straps for backpacks you can see some silver craft foam there and there. That's mainly just to hold this piece because this is where I mainly grab onto it. As you can see, I'm actually going to slide my arm in. 
You can see I hold it pretty well. Uh, there's a little bit of room around the wrist. That is mainly for the wrist guard and an eventual glove to fit in. And of course I see I made the craft foam bits sort of grayish silver just like Osmond's cane. That way they look a bit more like metal. And it looks like it's actually like bolted onto the shield. Yeah, there you see that. I'm just going to set this down, flip it over. And quickly grab this. Yeah, you can see the three parts. And that is the sword and shield of John Arc. And that should uh, just about do it for this cl clause play. <laughs> this cosplay update. So, yeah. And I will see you guys later.